Hey guys, it's Landon with Redefine Horizons. And in this video, it's gonna be short. I'm gonna show you how to uh, work uh, with data in two different uh, coordinate systems in, in, in QGIS. So, I've <clears throat> so let me explain. I've got a project here that actually spans a county boundary. So this is Amador County up in zone two, and I've got a little piece of the project down here in Calaveras County, which is in our uh, zone three, California State Plain zone three. So what do you do? What do you do in that situation? Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to move everything to zone two, okay? Uh, but uh, we want to make sure that when we do that, that we're careful um, and we and we get rid of any zone three files when we're done, uh, because we don't we don't want folks to accidentally uh, accidentally grab those. So I have my project GIS set up in QGIS with the right coordinate system. California State Plain Zone 2. So when I imported the Zone 3 data, it reprojected on the fly, okay, which is cool. It's cool that QGIS does that, but you have to be careful be, but because it's just reprojected on the fly for the purposes of loading the data set in QGIS. It hasn't wrote those changes out to the files, and you could argue that uh, maybe you don't want it to. So we want to write the changes to the files, back to the files, after uh, we do some trimming. So I got way more data here than I need. So uh, let's start with the parcels. Uh, so we just we just want to um, get rid of a bunch of these friggin' parcels. Okay, so I'm gonna make the and you can see why it's a really heavy it's a really heavy parcel layer. So we're gonna toggle editing on that. I'm gonna give this a minute to load. It's it's also slow because of the screen recording software. I've got a really good laptop, uh, but it, it might not handle this. I'm not sure it did. Okay, so it's got the selection there. I'm just going to go really slow so I don't lock this up. All right, let's uh, hit the delete button here and try and get rid of those. All right, so it, it ought to go a little faster now that we got got rid of a bunch of those parcels. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of these other ones over here. Same same process. Okay, then we'll do our roads layer, and then um, we'll uh, we'll we'll write these out with the right projection. Okay, so we'll delete those. Okay, so now I've got a, a trim down parcel layer. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off, and we're going to do the same thing uh, for the roads here. So we'll make that editable. And we're going to go ahead and select a bunch of these. I got a little too much there, so we'll do this again. I'll give myself a little more room. All right, and we will delete those. Okay, and then we'll do this over here too. Okay. All right, so uh, now we've got our, our files trimmed down. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to save these files out with the right uh, CRS. So we're going to say export. So I, I'm going to do the road center lines first. I've highlighted it. We're going to go to export. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's save our layer edits and toggle off editing before we export on both of these.
Okay, so now uh, let's see, we'll do road center lines first. So we're gonna right click on the layer name, export, save features as. Mm -hmm. And I like to use GeoJossen. I've had some bugs with Geo package and shapefile has some limitations, so. Okay, so this is actually Calaveras County parcels. So we're gonna say new folder Calaveras. Okay, and so we're we'll say uh, parcels trimmed. All right. Oh, I named that wrong, didn't I? Let me do that again, guys. Sorry. Uh, since I named it wrong. And I actually forgot a really important step. Okay, so we're going to call this roads trimmed. Now, it's really important that we set that coordinate system to zone 2. Okay, so when we do this now, QGIS is actually going to reproject the data when it saves the file. Okay, so I can remove this layer now. Now this new layer that we created, roads trimmed, is actually in zone two. So if somebody were to grab that file, put it in a different QGIS project, or import it into CAD, it'll be in the right coordinate system. That's why we're doing this. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing with parcels here. Okay, set that coordinate system, California Zone 2. We're going to overwrite the file. It says, uh, what do you want? I want the polygons. Okay, so we can delete the old layer now, the Zone 3 layer. Okay, so now we've got a Zone 2 layer. And just so you guys uh, can see, it's a fairly easy I show you this in another video, but we can just import the style, the style in the symbology section of the layer properties. So we'll, we'll just do this for the roads. Okay, so now my roads are going to look the same in both uh, in both uh, counties, okay, which is what we want. Okay, now it's not labeling in this other projection uh, because this this has a different attribute for the road name. Okay, that's one of the disadvantages of working with two different data sets from two different counties. So if we come in here to label, uh, you can see it's got road name here, but that's not what Calaveras County named uh, the attribute. So let's see, they they spelled it out road name. So but we can apply that now and we get the road names. Okay. Uh, so I'll do the same thing for the parcel layer. I won't, I won't make you guys watch that. Um, but so that gives you guys an idea of how you can uh, can work with data sets across the zone boundary. Okay.